So welcome back everybody. Today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a sweet purchase that I just made, the Everlast Power Plasma 102i. So we'll go over some quick specs in this video. I don't wanna bore you. I know you wanna see some cutting and I'll explain how we're using this around the shop. This plasma can be used and set up for CNC plasma cutting, which is one of the main reasons I got it, or of course, your typical hand torch cutting as well. Now some quick specs on this particular unit. It's 100 amps of output. So anywhere from 20 amps to 100 amps covers a wide range of cutting. And they claim that you can cut up to an inch and five eighths material and it's rated for daily cutting of inch and a quarter material. Now that's far more than I'm ever gonna be cutting, but the good news is I now have a 100% duty cycle machine, which is particularly important on a CNC plasma table. So no matter what thickness I'm gonna cut in the shop, whether it be half inch, five eighths, quarter, eighth inch material, doesn't matter. I can continuously run. I will never even come close to hitting the duty cycle on this machine. Now keep in mind, they have a 50 amp machine, a 60, an 80, and a 100 amp machine. And if I'm being honest with y'all, I tried to buy the 80 amp machine, the 82i. Well, they sold out about the time I placed my order. And let me speak to the customer service with these guys right here. They called me immediately, gave me multitude of options to downgrade, to upgrade, to stay with the current unit whenever another order was gonna come in, even though the new order was gonna have a higher tariff pricing, they were gonna honor the price I already paid. And because I already had jobs lined up with my CNC plasma table, they even offered to send me out a machine should I choose to wait, a different type of machine. That's some amazing customer service. Service. They just said send the machine back when the one you ordered comes in. Ultimately, I decided to go ahead and upgrade. Again, mainly thinking about that 100% duty cycle and the fact that I can never outgrow this machine. It's gonna cut anything I could ever ask of it. So there's a couple different packages you can get with any of their 60, 80, or 100 amp machines. I got a bundle package and you actually save some good money. Not only did I get the hand torch, but I got the CNC machine torch. Should you need that, buy the bundle package. It's available on their website. You'll definitely save some money. You also have the option to buy it just with the machine torch or with the hand torch itself if you wanna save the money and not have both. Obviously, I wanted a machine that I could do a little bit of everything with. Now, this particular unit is one phase or three phase. So you can do 240 volts or 480 if you're really wanting to run this thing up to the max. I do recommend you probably wire it straight to a disconnect if you're gonna do that. If you're gonna run lower amperages, which is still gonna cut extremely thick material like me, I just wired it into a four gauge extension cord in the shop. Now the 60 and 80 amp machines, well, they're single phase only 240 volts. So something else you're gonna to wanna to note, if you go with a machine this size, maximum inrush current, 78 amps. Again, you'd wanna hardwire and probably go on up to three phase, but I really don't know of anybody doing true 100 amps of cutting. You can cut some extremely thick stuff in the say 40, 50, 60, 70, or even 80 amp range, and you're good to go on most thick wall outlets and thick cords. And the other thing I really like, check that out, 100% duty cycle at 80 amps. I can't stress that enough, y'all. I will probably never go up to 80 amps. 60 and 70 amps, I will run. So I will never in my life hit the duty cycle on this machine. Now it is worth noting if you're gonna go with a massive machine like this, again, we've done talked about the power needs, but you're gonna need up to nine CFM type compressor. My 240 volt shop compressor over here can provide over 11 CFM at 90 PSI. Otherwise, look at the 62i or the 82i. They have less requirements, not only for input power, but for air if you're running smaller compressors or have a lower powered service to this shop. I've got a 200 amp service out here, so I'm good to go any way I wanna wire this. All right, so what's included in the box? It's worth noting the 60 and 80 amp machine will come with a NEMA 650 plug. The 100 amp machine does not come with a plug, so I purchased one. That's so you can hardwire this or depending on if you're gonna go one phase, three phase, that's for you to wire up. That's specific to the 102i. You've got a ground clamp, honestly, kind of short, so I've done ordered me a longer one of those. Everything else is awesome. Comes with a regulator and water separator, although, you're gonna to wanna to put a water separation system out in your shop. I'm using a small system over here. I'm about to add a third stage to it. And if I start doing a lot of cutting in the future, I'm probably gonna get one of those refrigerant type air dryer units that goes in line. Clean air, no moisture is key with plasma cutting, especially if you wanna extend your consumable life. 
This unit is also equipped with a CNC port. I've already wired the provided plug up to work with my Langmuir Crossfire Pro CNC table. So one thing worth noting, extremely happy to see this, it comes with a very, very long torch lead. Extremely long. So happy to see that. I'm just gonna extend my ground out so I can reach my piece, but I can go do a lot of working around a piece. I'm gonna show you some of that in this video right here. I'm probably already flashing up where I did some cutting way out in the yard for some fire rings and fire pits that I make. I am thrilled to see how long of a lead they included. Same thing for the machine torch lead. If you buy the bundle package or just the machine torch right there, as you can see, it comes with a really, really long lead as well. All right, so let's go ahead and kick this on. I'll show you the display. Do that right here on the back. All right, so if we take a look at the front, I know it's gonna be kind of loud with the fan right here. On this side, you can actually adjust your amps. This is your air pressure. And I love that it has an air check function so we can kick that on. Air will come out of whatever attachment you have on there and you can see actual running pressure. That's very important. Don't set your air pressure to when it's off. It's always gonna read higher. You can adjust your post flow up and down. That's very important for extending your consumable life. You've got the options to go back to hand torch, lock the machine out, CNC torch, options for auto restart, a tip saver mode, and you can actually gouge with this machine as well. And then here's a few warning lights. All right, enough talking, right? Let's do some cuts. I do not have inch and a half thick material here, but I tell you what, we'll cut some 3 8 material. It's pretty thick. I'll double stack it. We'll go up to three quarters of an inch thick, which is insanely thick, and we'll try that out. I also don't have the larger tips for cutting inch, inch and a half material because I have no desire to cut that thick. But occasionally I will cut half inch, maybe even five eighths for some tractor parts and other stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks beautiful. Holy smokes, y'all. That looks fantastic. So I'll admit, I'm a relatively newbie whenever it comes to plasma cutters. I've only had a little small 40 amp one for a while, never really researched the right technique. But yeah, I'll take a look at this. I mean, that looks, that looks excellent for 3 8 material. Now, I was going kind of fast here, if I remember correctly, and it's cutting beautiful. Hardly no dross on the bottom. All right, so you have already seen with some of the footage I showed us zipping through 3 8 This is 3 8 again, using the CNC portion, cutting painted and rusty metal like we've did a little bit of everything here. Now what I'm going to do is zip off a piece of this 3 8 because it's thickest I got in the shop, double stack it, weld it, and then we'll cut through 3 quarter inch material. But check this out. like butter. You can't complain with that. A little bit of dross on the bottom we can knock off. And I may not have my tip size or settings even remotely right. 
All right. Tell you what, we may just try clamping that. Now, this isn't solid. There is a tiny gap in between. I don't know if that'll affect the arc or not, but for sure on material this thick, we're not gonna pierce it. We're gonna start on the outside edge and work our way in. Now I'm gonna bump the amps up on the machine and change my tip out to the tip that can handle the higher amperage. The one thing you need to know, the size tip that you run is what determines your amperage. Ultimately that determines your cutting ability as well. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just start on the outside edge and just lob a section off so we can take a look at the cut. All right, here we go. Let's see if I've got my settings where they need to be. Well, we just blasted through three quarters of an inch of steel like nothing. Oh man, get this over here. Check that out. I may have went too slow, I may have went too fast, I don't know. I've never cut material that thick, but uh, three quarters of an inch, absolutely no problem. All right, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking it too. Let's cut this in half triple stack it that'll be what an inch and an eighth we'll measure it holy smokes well let's do it it zips through three eighths like nothing but i don't have the right size tip because we're going to have to really run the amps up some more. I may wind up tripping my breaker. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go really, really, really slow on this. so close man that is so close all right I definitely don't think I've got the right tip but let's uh try this again We did it. I did bump my amps on up to 80. But that's more than I need to be running on this tip. Holy smokes, y'all. Yeah, not the right tip, not the right settings. I need a bigger tip that I don't. Did you hush? I'm trying to talk. All right, let's get over here in some light. Okay, so wrong tip. We already know that. I need the next tip size up, which I don't have and that would probably cut even better but y'all that is an inch and eight thick never mind my uh <laughs> my free hand right there but we absolutely cut through an inch and eight material even with the wrong tip the nozzle in there that's insane i've never cut metal that thick in my life okay most everybody wants to see the thick cutting we've already shown that but we might as well zip through some thin stuff all right Zip it right out. I mean, as you can see, you can just zip through this stuff and I'm on a really low setting, smaller tip. So you can just fly through this if you want to. Obviously sheet steel like this isn't a problem at all. All right, so hopefully you've enjoyed this little review. It's also worth mentioning these units come with a five-year warranty. Again, I've already had experience with the customer support. I've actually spoken to them several times about the right torches, 
my machine over here, there's always someone picking up, always somebody will call you back if they don't. Super helpful, I can't brag enough about that. And keep in mind, if you've never heard of Everlast, they've been around a very long time. My first welder, which is sitting up on the shelf over here, was a Everlast welder. And I bought that probably 15 years ago, used it, never had not one single problem out of it. So I feel quite confident reading the reviews I did online. They seem to be extremely popular and reliable. So I feel confident in it. Now, if you wanna see this in use a lot, I'm gonna put a couple channels down in the description. We have multiple social media channels where you're gonna be seeing me building and creating either with the hand torch or over on the CNC plasma is what I'm super excited about. So if you wanna see this in use more, go check out both of those channels. By the way, it's worth mentioning, I bought my machine, but I found out they had an affiliate program, so I signed up for it. If you're interested in any of their products, I'm gonna put an affiliate link down there. It supports the channel, it helps me make content like this, and it's much appreciated. Thank you all for watching, take care.